Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys, girls, and all of our non-binary friends. And welcome to this, a brand new day. Hokey smokes. I actually kind of slept last night. I tried to go to bed early-ish and ended up a little bit on the early side. Didn't sleep wonderfully, but I slept and then got up late. And so I got my meds taken late and then my brain, even at 7.55 a.m., as it is right now while recording, my brain is not functioning properly. So it's going to be a good day. Yay, thumbs up for that. One thing I do want to do is I did get a box from Lucifer with a big box of cat food from Amazon. Thank you so very, very much. It is appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. My kitty cat appreciates it. Thank you so very, very much. I am sorry the other box got delayed, but thank you for this. It is, like I said, greatly, greatly appreciated. Definitely a thumbs up on that. And of course, to front load the video, if you could interact with the YouTube algorithms, leave me a comment, that would be very cool. If you could also toss me a like, if you like what you see in here, that would be very cool. If you could subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome as well, definitely a thumbs up. I also want to thank each and every one of my Patreon.com patrons. These beautiful and awesome people help to keep me alive, and that is very cool. I do appreciate that very, very much. My limited disability, extremely limited, and I can't work, it just just pays for my rent so anything past that these people help them to keep me survive in and that's good I, I enjoy surviving so thank you each and every one of you thumbs up for that uh, if you'd like to become a patron yourself there are links in the show more in the you know video description sort of thing so awesome definitely thumbs up on that yay front loading of videos <laughs> uh. But still, it, it is good, and thank you very much for absolutely every everybody that does anything for me. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. I'm, oh boy, the fallout from my rent increase is still happening. I honestly don't know if, what's going to happen, because I am not able to live at this rate. I'm not going to be able to keep living here if, if things keep happening, and then I don't know what's going to happen. I don't want to become homeless. <laughs> <sighs> And especially out walkies, you know, in Shelton, there's a fairly substantial amount of homeless people and they live in the woods and stuff. But more and more, I've been noticing when I'm out walkies, there's, there's people out in cars, not driving, they're sleeping in their cars. And it's not just one or two on a block. It's like one or two on every single block. So yay. But, while everything in the world is depressing and awful, not everything in the world is depressing and awful as everything else. <laughs> Yay! I mean, here in the United States, uh, we are hosed, so uh, the rest of the world, be prepared when we finally fall into complete fascism and authoritarianism, which is probably going to be soon. It ain't going to be pretty for everyone else, so thumbs up on that. Past that, though... <laughs> It's a, it's a joyous world, and I'm just trying to do what I can to survive. And just as all of us have to do. So, do your best. Thumbs up on that. I mean, no matter where you are around the world, things are... There are good things happening, and there's terrible stuff going on, too. So, yay. So, I'm going to try and focus more on the positive parts of life right now. Because I'm depressed enough as it is. I don't need to drive myself further into the ground with this. I do want to talk about, because I wrote this down on my list as well, Warhammer 40k. That's been in the news if you sort of follow any sort of game stuff at all. But even if you don't, this is kind of important. I mean, if you don't know about the setting of Warhammer 40k, there's a game company over in Britain. They make figures that are, like, super expensive. They make their money off figures. I mean, if you're going to make a purchase any figures and paint them so you can play their games, that is a substantial, uh, what's the word, investment of several hundred dollars, probably for one good piece. I mean, they have models that are a couple hundred bucks each, so it's expensive, but they have rules and they have two types of general settings. The, the company, Games Workshop, used to do a lot of stuff. Now they basically focus on a, a few things of their stuff that really makes money. But there's the old-timey fantasy Warhammer stuff that they used to call you know, Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, and now it's like Age of Sigmar. 
and then there's their Warhammer 40k stuff, but that's set 40,000 years in the future, and it's absolutely horrific. It is a nightmare time, <clears throat> or literally the only thing to do in that land is prepare for war, or die in war, or fight and die in war. There are like nine or ten different uh, alien races, and none of them are good. Humanity is no better. Humanity in this space setting is degenerate and terrible, living only to fight and kill. And then, of course, there's the chaos gods that are doing all this stuff until you're fighting chaos gods and their minions and all the aliens. And really, the only smart way to play is to not play. In this setting, in that setting, humanity has no choice but to fight bitterly until the dark end. It's like, no, no, just, you don't play. You put the chairs on the table, you shut out the lights, you end yourself. There is no hope in this setting. None. And I haven't liked it for a lot of various reasons, but it took until this year for me to finally figure it out when somebody explained. It's not a timeline. It is just a setting. They have a rough timeline for the setting, but they don't have mega timeline for the setting because that's not the important part. The important part is the feel of the game, the feel of the setting, the feel of the oppression and the terror and the violence. So there isn't a lot of stuff that ties it together into a big coherent thing other than the you know, major parts. Fandom has gone mad over it though because I had a stated thought that, hey, it, you know, don't play. But since it's a setting, and it's also satire, because even the people who make in the game say, you know, this is not a good setting. This is bad. This is bad. This is not good. You should understand that. We're sad that we have to come out and say this. So it's, when you tie that all together, I can suddenly understand and it makes sense. As it just, it's not to intellectualize, it's to experience emotionally. It doesn't have to make sense, it's not to make sense. And so finally I figured it out this year. And so, yay. <laughs> I've tried playing it on and off and so I've had a mixed uh, through the decades sort of connection to it and watching it and all that just on the fringes so yay but uh, on the Warhammer fantasy roleplay part even though it's been like 35 years or so I still remember my one character Guido Vermicelli he was an interesting man <laughs> thumbs up for that but it was just interesting because there's a huge fascist under undertone to a lot of the fandom where they like it. They like that setting. They aspire to that. They are literal authoritarian fascists that are ruining the game for everyone else, which is one of the reasons 40k came out to say, look, no. So, thumbs up. Also, there was a video I watched this morning about streaming. And it was a video that was actually very good about not just, you know, your goals of streaming, but life, too. Because, you know, it's like, why were you going into streaming? Because you're going into it for fame, or money, or these things. You're going into it for the wrong reasons. You're not going to last. You've got to build up an audience, and that takes time. You're not going to be rich. You're not going to be instantly famous. You know, you're going to be the lot of the people that have made it on Twitch now. Their first years came out to about 50 cents an hour. They were getting paid for their work. So it's it's why you're going into it, which is kind of like why you go into stuff for uh, just YouTube videos. I didn't go into this for fame and fortune. I came into this because I was uh, dying after the wife, after the wife, after the death of my wife. I was checking out and it terrified me and I need a lifeline and this has been my lifeline 
I've been doing videos and all this stuff because I don't want to die. I've been recovering from grief and mourning and all the depression and various things that I've been discovering as I've been recovering. That is why I want to do live streaming myself. Now it's set up, of course, against people, you know, small people and people who maybe aren't exuberant enough. <laughs> I'm not going to be going into this for fame and fortune because after all the way the rooms are set up on Twitch is when you're taking a look for stuff they put the big popular people up on the top of the list and then you have to scroll downward to the smaller streams. So you start off with the big ones and then they lead to the smaller ones and I'm going to be way, 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 way down there and that's okay because it's not for the fame and the fortune, it's another foundation in my... Uh, well, another pillar, better way to say it, in my foundation of recovery. So, thumbs up for that. So, when and if I do this, you know, that's going to be why. Not fame and fortune. I mean, I haven't found it here. I'm not going to find, find it there. But then I'm not really looking for it. If I wander into it, that's fine. But I'm not looking for it. I'm looking for recovery. Mental health. Thumbs up for that. Now, of course, there is some stuff about the whole inside-outside razor's edge thing. One of the other things that I've been thinking a lot about is I've mentioned how the King in Crimson is a very ethical and moral being. It's not just in personal stuff. There's also business. I've mentioned how when the Crimson Kingdom will enter into contracts with places like, you know, they're going to give a no-obligation gift to Apple Rock after the rampage of the Kaiju. They do things like that where they're just helping out people because contracts have to be ethical and moral as well. Out here on the outside, if you write up a contract and you slip something into the contract and the person who signed the contract didn't catch it, they're still have to abide by it because they agreed to it even if you slipped it in and oh it's a knife between their ribs there is a board that you have to put your contracts toward because you have to obey the not just the letter but the spirit of the law and if your contract before any party signs it gives too much advantage to one side that will be rejected Especially if you try to slip in any of those, oh, there's a knife in your back sort of clauses in there. That will get you a penalty. They don't just come up with the letter of the law in the Crimson Kingdom. It is the spirit of the law as well. So when there is any sort of issue, they don't just do a regular, you know, let's check the facts and see what happened. There is also a check for ethics and morals to see if you violated the spirit of the contract or if you violated the spirit of what you should be doing with whatever goods or creatures or whatever it is that you were dealing with. You have to sign an ethics and morals contract with the Crimson Kingdom before you can do business in there. If they have found that you have an ethics and morals violation, that takes every other penalty from normal to brutal. And then they start from brutal there. So you may be going, oh, there's one violation here. Oh, there's two violations. That would be like the equivalent of $20,000 fine. Oh, but there was a third violation, but that was an exit. That was a ethics violation. Okay, your $15,000 fine is now a $250,000 fine, and you're going to be doing some community time, and you're going to be doing some other things. And if people get hurt, you may end up in one of the lifetime prisons. And if people die, uh, people, you know, the official news may be you were put painlessly to death for what you had done. Ethics and morals are very important to the crimson, to the king in crimson. And of course, one of the big issues, one of the big problems, and the king in crimson realizes this with any sort of civilization is the stranger at the gates problem. And in a world where everything outside of civilization is an untamable 
uh, forever frontier, you have a big problem with stranger at the gates because the stranger at the gates are not you. And they will at one point decide that you have to pay for something and then they come attack. What's the plan when that happens? Well, you don't let them get there. You make them so they're not strangers. That's one of the reasons that the Crimson Kingdom is pushing their tech and their civilization outward so that everyone can have it. The most basic stuff they don't charge for because after a generation or two of their pushed out tech and other things that everybody in the Crimson Kingdom has, well, you start off as somebody who was a horse rider, but your kids now live in a house and then their kids have cell phones and their kids, well, in just two, gener two generations, you got the grandparent who rode the horse, you got the parent who live in the house and you got the grandchildren that are now cell phone people. They are your citizens in everything but name. They are not strangers at the gate anymore. And I've opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab. And I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people or however many people left me comments. It's been a long time since I've had 25. But anything more than zero is awesome. Thank you so very much. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I am an American English speaker. And even though I can't American Sign Language, uh, with my depression, fibro, ADHD, and more, uh, I can feel my... Uh, ADHD meds suddenly working. I am much more animated than I have been and I feel much more awake than I did even 20 minutes ago. <laughs> so we have ENB, greatly appreciated. Elena Carpenter, thumbs up. There's 8man3000, thumbs up. Alexander, greatly appreciated. There's Laszlo de Lama, greatly appreciated. And I'll put that on the list. We have Texco, thumbs up. There's Ari Capasturant. And hey, I recognize your name too. So I, I hope to see you. In the, in the comments and Gregory Young thumbs up and thank you there is Jamie greatly appreciated Jocelyn Williams always good to see you Yuki likes hot potatoes the best kind of potatoes and good to see you there is Ben B thumbs up Craig YAC good to see you as well oh hokey smokes mm. gas from drinking soda before I started recording is finally escaping from the confines of my body we have pancake cook 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 Cookie, is that 14 now? Well, we'll go with that. 14? <laughs> Thank you very, very much. And insomnia does blow. There is a mountain, TA, and then a whole bunch of vowels. Thumbs up and thank you. Larry from Space, good to see you. And Ice Damon, greatly appreciate it. Look at that. There was like, what, 16? No, 17 people that left me comments in the last 24 hours. Greatly appreciate it. Each and every one of you. You get me out of my head and into the world and dealing with real people. So thumbs up and thank you. <laughs> And of course, I don't know what device you're watching this on, but somewhere is the video description inside are links to all of my channels if you could check those out. I also have links to things like Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and again, I would like to thank each and every one of my Patreon.com patrons. These beautiful and awesome people really are honestly and literally helping to keep me alive and moving. It is appreciated. Thank you so much. And if you could become a Patreon patron, that would be very cool. I, I do appreciate it. I like living, and it, it is good. If you'd like to help me out without doing that, I do have a PayPal link where you can send anything at all, and I'm not above grubbing for your spare change, because when you got next to nothing, anything helps. Thumbs up for that. I also have an Amazon wish list link with things like cat food and hamster bedding and all sorts of stuff. There's even a Baphomet plushie on there if you could check that out. Definitely a thumbs up. Of course, I do not feel obligated, I do not feel entitled, and if you cannot or you do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest, so thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive validation here for my existence, a definite thumbs up, and of course, if you could hit the notification bell on the subscription button, that would be very cool. Greatly appreciate it, thumbs up and thank you. I say thumbs up a lot, I've been doing that for my whole life. Yay! <laughs> So, of course, please seek creativity, keep your brain lubed up and working, seek positivity, being negative only hurts you and those around you, and seek balance. It's fun to bounce off the walls, but it's also not very healthy. <sighs> so, today I'm going to try and do my best to try not to fall asleep. <sighs> I'm going to try and stay creative. I'm gonna try and do some recording. I've definitely got a lot of editing to do, so I got stuff to do and as well as phone calls to make, but it's so close to like Thanksgiving now. <sighs> so, 
Until we meet again, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side. And that is, quite frankly, a very good thing.